12 months ago, I did an introductory video about buying your first Continental Rod. Well, since that video has come out, in the last 12 months, there have been some major developments with regard to Continental Rods. We're going to have a look at some of the new rods that are now on the market. Let's get down to the angler's den. Good morning, and welcome to Sea Fishing with CJ. Today we're going to be doing something slightly different. As you can see, we're here at the Angler's Den in Pevensey and we're here to speak to Glyn Morgan about some of the exciting developments that have been in the last 12 months with regard to Continental Rocks. Now you may recall, about 12 months ago, I did a video with Glyn talking about what was on the market. We're going to talk about some of the new developments that have come on since that video was made. So, no more ado, let's go into the shop and have a quick look around. exciting new rods that are in uh, which we're going to have a look at so um, over to Glyn. Right, hi Chris yeah it's probably uh, been uh, over a year since um, we did our last video yeah, um, yeah, just over a year. yeah I think so and since then we've had uh, quite a quite a few new uh, range of rods uh, coming to us actually um, the good thing about these ones is they're not prohibitively expensive. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, the whole idea of this of this series of videos is about introducing, getting people into the sport. So, you know, it, it's buying your first continental rod was the title of the first um, bid. So, right. Um, well, we've got some we've got some really good kit to to be, to be able to show you today. Then that, right. that sort of fits right into that market actually. So that's okay, that's okay. good. Uh, we've got some uh, a nice little range from Tronics Pro who do some good you know some really good kit. Um, I think we, um, uh, I think we've used Tronix Pro before in the last video of one of the, yeah, yeah, the reels, etc. Yeah. So they've got some good kit. Uh, we've got uh, from Yuki. Now most people think of Yuki as really expensive, yeah, uh, which yeah. they can be, yeah. um, but they also do some very, very good sort of uh, lower mid-price um, kit as well, which we've got a range of that that's come in into stock, um, which we can show you um, various different tip tip styles uh, and different power ratings yeah. um, and then pen now pen haven't done much for um, the last few years they've been happy with their rampage sets and etc that's all gone now so the pen rampage has been around for quite some time has now gone um, and they've introduced a new range of rods there's two or three different price points again so they, they they've got uh, the pen wrath um, which is their lower priced continental rod um, and then they've got these new tidal uh, XR uh, Conti rods, um, three piece, various different power ratings. We've got a couple in stock. Really impressive. Really, really nice rods. Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not overly, um, not overly expensive. Again, you know, we're, we're talking about 200 pounds, which is not cheap. But it's not prohibitively expensive, and for what you get, I think you know we'll we'll, we'll take them outside, hopefully, yeah. in a, and we'll have a look at them, and yeah. I think people will be, um, yeah, quite impressed with, with with the actions on the rods. We 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 certainly are. I mean, I'm using a pen a pen six pound class rod on my boat, and I love it. It's yeah. So good. Yeah, yeah. You actually. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there's some nice kits. So, so yeah. So we've got we've got some Yuki rods. We've actually got one that we'll also take out. Not not normally our our market, um, which obviously, as you know, we're predominantly um, three-piece continental rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, from from beginners right the way up to top end. But we <laughs> obviously we, we have noticed, as you you you're the same being a beach angler that we've noticed in the last few years. We've seen some 
uh, uh, bigger fish yeah. arriving on the, you know, we're not just fishing for whitings and codlings and dabs, we're, we're now fishing for rays and yeah. big smooth hounds and congers. I mean, yeah. it's crazy. So, so yuki, I've actually got a two piece yuki, which we'll, which we'll have a look at. It won't be everyone's cup of tea, but it will certainly tick the box for some people. Yeah. It's an interesting rod. It's a two piece, 14 foot, soft tip action rod, but plenty of power. I, able to cast up to 300 grams with bait. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, it really it, for some people that will tick a box. Not for most people, but for some people that want a rod that's gonna be a go-to rod for big fish fishing or, or heavy heavy conditions. Absolutely, ticks yeah, all the boxes. Those people watching this video might yeah. not be on the south coast. They might be up on the north. Coast Absolutely, yeah. Coast. So interestingly so, enough, that yeah. would be a rod. But but normally that wouldn't have been a rod that would be traditionally we would use down here particularly. Yeah. Yeah. But it is now. I mean, yeah. certainly with with the. Uh, influx of, of larger species um, then yeah we're, we're now starting to step up some of our rods oh, not not all the time I mean we are lucky here we get a lot of small flatfish so yeah, yeah, yeah. again a lot of the the, the continental rods with the um, hybrid tips on them the, the ultra fine tips are fantastic rods lines, so yeah. Yeah, yeah super bits of kit so so some of those new rods that we that we talked about certainly the pen tidal ones they fit into that category yeah, yeah. powerful casting rods light ultra fine tips yeah. so really nice bits of kit for for you know fishing south coast when 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 the conditions allow flatfish fishing well i mean you can fish all sorts of fish for them and catch anything on them yeah. but then some of the other ones uh, some of the other rods certainly the yuki two piece and some of the other rods slightly more p powerful yeah. uh, that will do for more powerful situations i'll be interested to see that i'm, I'm not in the market to buy any, no no it's not, it's not everyone's cup of tea i mean i've got a rod similar yeah. Um, that I use, but I, it doesn't come out that often, no, no. but it is, it's a specific rod. And I think that's, I think we've changed a little bit more now as well. We have a, a much bigger range of rods. It's, a, yeah, yeah. it's more like, I wouldn't say, <laughs> not quite like a golf bag, but yeah. it is more, back in the day, you know, many, many years ago, you, you had one rod and you yeah. may do with that rod and you tried to get a rod that hopefully yeah. fished for just about every species yeah. that you could. Well, now we're lucky enough in that, you know, we, we can have, we can have a, a lightweight, powerful rod that, fantastic banging a long way for yeah, fishing yeah. for place yeah. you know or flat fish at range but now you know you don't want that rod particularly if you're if you're strapping a six or seven ounce lead on and and half a mackerel and yeah. and going for a conger no, well you no. don't need to now there are bits of kit that you can have a go-to yeah, rod yeah, a bit yeah. like a golf bag yeah. where you can say well actually that yeah. that that rod suits those conditions better yeah. i don't need that one for that on, on, a, on a night when there's a lot of weed out there Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You know, why, why use one of your... I mean, they will handle it, yeah. but why use a, a rod that's got these ultra-fine yeah. um, tip uh, on a night like that, when you're fishing with big baits, where you've got other rods that you could just easily... And they'll be happier in those conditions. Right. And you don't need the bite indication when it's howling a, a no, full no, no. six and, no. and a weed coming up your line. You know, yeah. you don't need that, yeah. um, those ultra-fine tips. So, so there are bits of kid out there now that, that, that will step up um, that we can that we can step to, and again they're not overly expensive. So, okay. So I mean, if you want, we can uh, well, take. Let's have, a, have a quick look at what, the ones. That yeah. Talking okay. About. So if I just talk you through. So um, here's a range here of Tronix Pro. I don't know if you can see those from now. I can lift them off. If I lift that. So I mean, if we go from which I think value for money wise. I mean, this is a great bit of kit. Tronix Pro Gorilla. All right, okay. uh, it tells you what it needs, uh, you know, the clue is in the name, yeah. it's, it's powerful. Um, they've done a gorilla range before. Don't want any bananas. <laughs> no, no. But it's, um, but it's great, it's a 14 foot, right. three piece, three piece yeah. 100 to 200 gram. 59.99. I know, 59.99, it's a powerful yeah. bit. Yes, it's through action, but it's powerful. Yeah. It's yeah. a great entry level rod for someone that wants yeah. to dip their toe in the water yeah. for um, Conti rod fishing. Yeah, yeah. They want something a bit longer, but yeah. you know, uh, that, that ticks all the boxes. That's a, an entry level. Yeah. Um, it's not a flop stick. You know, we, no. don't, we don't tend to do the 30 quid. I think I've said this before, yeah. 30, 40 quid um, Conti rods because basically they don't, they don't really achieve a great deal. Yeah. This will, this yeah, sure. And it's not, you know, it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's nice. It's got a nice action, yeah. you know. It's it's yeah, 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 you know. So it, as you can see, it's got plenty of power, but it's got a nice tip action, which for a, a rod that retails for sixty quid and for is learning to cast. That, that yeah, would be an ideal rod. yeah, you know, four point two meters, fourteen foot. Um, but yeah, so that's a that's 
uh, so one of the entry level ones that we talked about. Um, they do a, funny enough, we do uh, the Gorilla version, but in a two piece. So we talked about the, right. the, the Tronics Pro, yeah, yeah. sorry, the, um, uh, the Yuki two yeah, piece. Yeah. Well, for someone that wants a two piece rod, yeah. doesn't want to spend 260 quid, which is yeah, fair yeah. enough, yeah. but actually they've also bought a two piece version of the, of, of, uh, the uh, really Gorilla. Yeah, the pieces, yeah, right? yeah. Well, again, it's because, largely it's because some of the fishing that we're doing now is, is different, you know, so this is powerful, yeah, this is, powerful. yeah, but that's a two piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that would be, you know, like we talked about, you know, for someone who wants a, a high spec rod and then a, a higher spec two piece yeah. rod, this, this would be yeah. a, a, the rod for, for someone that, that wants to fish for the, for the rays and the big smooth hounds yeah. and possibly congas or rough weather yeah. um, rod. That would be a go-to rod. That's Light, that? well that one, a little bit more expensive, but it's not too bad, 84.99. 84 85 quid, you know, so again, they do some really good, not prohibitively expensive yeah. rods. Um, they also do, then they go into a bit more of the continental yeah. uh, area. So we do the a Gorilla again, but it's an outbreak. So this one is a bit more like we described before. So what well, this one is, it's got the uh, hybrid tip on it. Right. So it's got the ultra fine tip. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fine tip. three piece, rated 100 to 200 grams, 4.5 meters, light, powerful. Yeah. And again, 80 quid, you know, this is, a, this is a rod for someone that wants to you know, wants to get involved in the place fishing, yeah, yeah, uh, wants yeah. a lighter rod for, for a bit of fun fishing. Yeah, um, yeah and whiting, yeah, whiting's dabs, place, yeah. cracking bit of kit for, for all those sorts of fish. And you, you'll see every bite on that tip. But again, there, there's your, if I hold that bit there, you can see that tip yeah. action, nothing you see on the camera there, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And again, you know, so that again, well, that's 80 quid, 80 quid, you know, so they got K guides. That's the, the I think yeah. we talked about that before. So the big guides, yeah, 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 yeah. most of these are, are fixable. fixable. Yeah, absolutely. They're fixable rods. They got the, most of them have got the K guides, the, the, yeah. the guys that lean forward, which yeah. helps to stop you getting ring wrapped when you cast them with a big fixed ball. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, that, and that works, that works yeah. a treat. So we know that. So the step up from there would be, we do the little range that we talked about of Yuki rods. Yuki. Uh, Seiko, Yuki Seiko is a range that they do, so it's their, their lower mid-price yeah. range rods. Uh, and we do a Seiko uh, A5, an A6, and an A7. Um, one, two, three there, so we've got all three of them. Um, and they're all slightly different, you know, so uh, this one here, which is the uh, A5, rated to 250 gram, light, powerful. Yeah. Um, again, it's, it's just a step up from, from the rods that we, sh yeah, that we yeah, showed yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah. But again, 125 pounds. Well, I know, You're talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they can be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know. But this is a tubular tip. So what this hasn't got, it hasn't got the hybrid tip. Right. Okay. So it's a tubular tip. So this is something that's a little bit more. Hasn't got the ultra fine tip. So this is a bit more like a conventional rod that used to be. So, so in, in, in essence, it's a single blank for that for that length. Rather than yeah, the yeah. It hasn't got the insert tip. Yeah. Hasn't got the um, yeah the uh, the hybrid tip. It's a it's a tubular tip. So a little bit more so for someone that doesn't is not over keen. Not everyone is um, over keen on the uh, hybrid tip, the ultra yeah, fine yeah. tip. It's, it's still got it's a very very fine yeah. tip still. So it's still got very good bite indication, but it's a, it's a tubular tip. So a little bit more. Slightly more powerful in the tip section, as yep. you can see. But you can I see mean, how light I, that is. I, when I had my Yuki, I, I always thought it would be heavy, but that's not heavy, is it? No, it, no, it, no. It's obviously got weights in the butt, is it? No, 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 no it's got no weights in the butt. No, but it's got the bag on there, oh, so it right, always yeah. adds a little yeah, bit yeah. of weight. But no, it's uh, it's uh, nice, you know. It's, uh, they're, they're lovely looking rods, but they're also, yeah. it's no good looking nice if you don't perform well, but they are no, good performance good. rods, the Yuki's. No, I do like that, that, sort of, that sort of carbon wrap look. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, well. Um, so they've got the same on all that range actually, so uh, on the A6, it's, it's a similar, yeah. that's a hybrid tip. Yeah. So a little bit more, it's got the ultra fine tip on it um, that we talked about. So very similar rod, similar yeah. action, but one with a, um, a tubular tip, one with a hybrid tip. And the A5, A6, A7 relates to its, its weight, its casting range? Is it? uh, it's just a little bit more, basically, it's, right. it's um, the A5 and the A6 are very similar, they've right. just got different tip actions. Right. The A7, is a step up, a little bit step up in class. So you're talking about a 200 pound rod, right. okay? Um, so that will be very slightly slimmer. You can see it's slimmer. Yeah, no, it um, so it's made of high grade carbon, right. uh, which is basically what you get. The, the good yeah. thing about angling, I think we said this before, is pretty much you do pay for what you, 
you know, you, you get what you pay for. Um, so you can see quite clearly there, that's a slimmer blank. Yeah. Um, it, its weight will be the same, so it's more powerful and it's slimmer. So that's, that's as, you, as you step up in class, that's what you generally get. So that's a 200 pound rod. That's also got the uh, hybrid tip on it, yeah. um, but it's just the, the next step up. So it's for someone that wants um, something a little bit more, li a little bit lighter, a little bit more powerful, a little bit slimmer. Yeah. Um, ticks I mean, the box I mean, for that. what you pay for your rods, you've got to look after your rods. I mean, if you hear people yeah. complaining about their rod snapping, yeah. and you've got to wonder how they treated that rod. Well, I have to say, um, I'm going to touch wood now, um, I'm quite impressed with, with, with the range of rods that we get now. Um, it was an issue back in the day, as we say, um, maybe 10 years ago, there were certain rods that you, you, you would get a bit of problems with. I think part of the problem was a lot of the continental rods that were coming over, maybe even more than 10 years ago, um, they were made for the continental market. So they were made, you know, they were, they were fishing off sand into yeah. no tide, yeah. very little crosswind, fishing into the med, yeah. you know, or out, you know, so they weren't fishing in the conditions that we fish here. No, no. And now what we find is a lot, they're, they're a lot more, I'm not saying they're beefed up, but they're definitely more, yeah, yeah. they're man enough for the job. Um, and so you tend to find that we get a lot more rods now that are, that are man enough for the British market, yeah. because we do tend to fish in rougher seas, yeah. deeper water, tide, uh, weed, so all of those things that yeah. do put a rod through its paces. And we've noticed that, you know, we have far less problems yeah. um, now with the massive range of Conti rods we get, you know, and we, we very rarely get yeah. few back, you know. Man, you never know that part of that I could mean, be accidental. I've heard good stories about, the, you know, uh, uh, Cathiof, Sonic, um, Sonics. You know, if you do break a rod, they normally will replace, replace the section. I, I find um, uh, most, very few of the companies that we deal with, we always have a yeah. policy that, you know, f obviously if you buy from a shop, yeah. you've automatically got that point of contact. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, so we are always very accepting. Yeah. We're, you know, if people do have a problem with a the rod, then the first thing we do is try and help them out with that, as you should do. Yeah. Um, and But we also find, you know, that's, it's all very well us doing that. But if we haven't got the backup from the companies, no, no. then that falls flat. But we do. We find that all the companies we deal with, some of them are excellent. You know, we can um, we can phone up if we, a yeah. tip section for for a rod, or if someone's got a problem with it, and if they've got them in stock, we'll have it within literally by return, yeah. um, which is a really good service, and, and it's fair enough, and that's how it should be. But of course, that's what you get if you get from, if you buy from a shop. Yeah. If you get online, then obviously it, right. it, it's a different ball game. Jason, but you know, know Jason, Jason and I, the Eastbourne fishermen, have, have been championing yeah. uh, buy from your local tackle shop. You use your local tackle. So, in fact, and that's the point, isn't it? Isn't yeah, in fact, while, while we were filming, we've just had, a, just, might as well mention that, we've just had a customer come in yeah. who had a, funnily enough, remember I mentioned that the pen, yeah. uh, Rampage. Yeah. He had a problem with his Rampage. Not, not the rod didn't break, but yeah. the real seat had a problem with it. And of course, normally they just send out a new butt section. Yeah. But of course, those, like I just said earlier, that, that range isn't available anymore. No. So what they sent out for him, he's just been in and picked it up actually today. Um, is that the new pen prevail? They sent out a replacement, complete brand new rod, wow. by return. Um, he told us about the problem, I think, last week, and, yeah. and the new rod turned up three day, four days ago. I think it turned up Friday, within two days. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a service you get. I mean, obviously, we do our bit, but yeah. the companies do the yeah, main yeah, bit, yeah, and they are pretty good. You know, they want, they, they want to maintain their reputation. So, yeah. you know, this guy has literally had a problem. He's come in the shop, and he's just picked up a brand new rod. Wow. You know, so... It, you, you know, there are companies, most of the companies we deal with, I don't think there's any company we deal with no. where, well, I wouldn't deal with them, to be fair, you know, because you have to have that back up, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and they are genuine, you know, we, as I say, we don't really get a big problem. It's not, no. This is not a massive problem. So it's not no, no. something that happens all the time. It's, it's occasional. And when it is, it, it's normally, you know, it's, it's, well, like that, nothing wrong with the blank, but, mm. but the real seat failed, mm. you know, and they, they couldn't replace that one. So they gave them a brand new, alternate, new, new, more newer range rod yeah, yeah. that they do now, which is brilliant, brilliant and service. How long had he had that rod? He'd, he hadn't had it long, right. um, but he'd had it a few months, he'd used right. it, yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, but it wasn't his fault, yeah. and obviously, you know, the companies are very, very good, yeah. and uh, that's the beauty of, of, of coming to a shop. Now, obviously, we do our bit, so we, yeah. we contact the company, yeah. so the first thing we do is we say, look, this rod, we've seen it, we know this person, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only been used. We can see this. It's not yeah. been abused. Now, obviously, yeah. someone has abused a rod, and it comes in. They've had it for three years. Or, well, yeah. you know, that's a different ball game. But, yeah. but generally, that's not the case. That's, yeah. that's never the case. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, if, if people have got you know a genuine problem yeah. with a rod, and 
they got it from us and they bring it back, then we deal with it, you know, and, and the companies that we deal with also deal with it, and, right. and that's good. But it's it's very small percentage. It's it, The good thing is it doesn't happen very often, um, so we don't have to do it that often um, because the rods definitely now are definitely more, more able to cope with the British conditions uh, that we fish in. So, um, yeah, there's also before, um, there's one... Uh, rod. I know we mentioned the. Have we mentioned the tide of the pens? Yeah, there was. A, I think the the, the third um, set of rods I'd like to talk about uh, and show you, Chris, um, is the uh, the new pen range, um, and they've bought out some entry level rods, which again are good. Uh, the pen Wrath surf cluster 14 foot here, so it's um, you know for pen, it's uh, certainly an affordable rod. Um, a good rod for somebody that just wants to, again, dip their toe in the water, but wants, you know, a, a good quality make. Pen do make some good rods. Got K guides on it again, okay. which, which, for, which for a rod um, of that price is, 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 is good. 87 quid, 14 foot, rated up to, slightly lower rating on that one, so four to six ounce up to 170 grams. Um, but for most people, that's, that covers most eventualities that you want to use. Most people are using sort of five ounce, six ounce tops really with bait. Um, and then the, uh, the next rods, which are the new ones, quite excited about really, are the two, uh, two Tidal XRs, uh, four, 15 foot, 4.5 metres, um, and two different power ratings, uh, exactly the same price, interestingly enough. Again, K guides, uh, uh, they're 200 pounds, 199.99, so 200 pounds. Both the same price. Um, one is rated to 250 gram, 100 to 250, and the red one is rated to 100 to 300. So it's a bit more powerful. Both got hybrid tips. Yeah. Lovely action rods. We'll definitely have a look at those outside. Yeah, You'll yeah. see the actions on those. Yeah. Um, so they are, as I say, a, 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 a casting rod, um, but with a, a nice bit of tip action to them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, very very nice. And, and again, you know for. 200 pounds, they're a good rod, really good rod for, for the serious angler that really wants a good bit of kit yeah. um, but doesn't want to spend, you know, relatively expensive. Um, and then, then they've also bought out a range, um, I think this is their, their mag. So I don't know if you know, um, I think you do actually, the Pen Mag 4 multiplier oh, yeah, reels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, they've actually bought out a Pen Mag 4 range of rods to go with them, which you possibly haven't seen actually. Um, and we've got those in stock. Now, they're, they're, they are, um, they do, um, it's almost like they're a three-piece yeah. continental rod, but they're a three-piece powerful rod. Um, so they're a, a conventional tip-action rod, if yeah. you like. And they, they are, again, they're, they're almost a conventional rod, like the two-piece Yuki. They're like the three-piece, more conventional rod for someone that, that, that doesn't, again, like the ultra-fine tips, that wants something that maybe they fish Dungeness, maybe they right. fish deeper water seaford rougher conditions um for bigger fish all all the time um then a go-to rod uh, definitely a little bit more expensive a step up in i mean you know the pen mag fours are very you know high spec range of reels yeah they've now put a, a high spec range of rods out to to complement that all right three piece powerful bits of kit i mean one they do a, a six and bait right. which is a three piece but they also do an eight ounce and bait and that is very, very powerful. So is that ring for multiplier then? No, it's no. still got K guides on oh, it actually. Okay. I mean, you could, to be fair, they have enough guides on them yeah. that you could use both. Right. Um, so the actual tip section, yeah, which yeah. has enough guides, uh, they've got quite, so they've got K guides, yeah, yeah. large K guides, um, uh, and they ha actually have got, which is quite useful, the uh, movable reel seats. Oh, so right, they've got okay. the sliding reel seats. Oh, so for, so, so if you are a multiplier oh, yeah, user. I tend to use Mike Downs. Well, then, then for, for people that want to use them down the butt, yeah. then for multipliers, then yeah, absolutely. So you could, um, you, they've got the large K guys, so just at home, um, as happy using a fixed ball on them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they have got enough guides. If you see the tip for yeah. people who aren't quite aware of how that works, what you need is you need enough guides, obviously, because with the multiplier, we have the reel on top of the rod, not underneath yeah, yeah, like yeah, a fixed yeah. ball. Yeah. So you need to have enough guides on so that tip touch, section. Doesn't touch the so it doesn't blank. touch the blank, exactly. Yeah. And so it um, doesn't cross the blank and cause uh, grooving on your uh, yeah. rings, etc. So uh, as you can see on that, you've got one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, six guides on the 
seven, in fact, on the tip section, yeah, yeah. and then three on the mid. So plenty of guides there for a multiplier. Because I mean, that um, bottom, the bottom ball. guy looks a little bit high for for a multiplier to me. But well, yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, it's a large. It is a large K guide. But yeah, again, yeah. I mean, to be fair, you'd be surprised. Once your reel yeah, yeah, is sat on top there, yeah. they're quite high reels, yeah. and once it's coming off the reel, the, yeah. the line yeah, is yeah. probably going to be coming off at about the same angle as that. Yeah, so yeah, it's really not going to yeah. be the, it's not going to be um, too too different. Really, uh, it's going to be going pretty much straight yeah. through there. But obviously, where that comes into its own, if you do want to use that rod with a fixed ball, yeah. um, then obviously it's got a larger K guide, yeah. so you're not going to get the ring wrap um, that you may get with a conventional guide or, or a low rider. Um, so yeah, so that's another range of that's another two pen rods, but they are a bit of a step up. But they they, they, they tick another box if you like. They are yeah. a, a powerful two powerful bits of kit. So six and bait and an yeah. eight and bait. Yeah, yeah. Um, that you wouldn't be you wouldn't be you wouldn't be fishing for place with the with the eight and bait. Let's put it that way. <laughs> you no. might be using the place as bait. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right. So the first two rods we've got outside here are two of the uh, lower priced entry level rods from Tronics Pro, the two gorillas we talked about. Right. We're just going to have a look at them so we can see the actions of the rod. So you know, it's all very well talking them through, but we're actually going to put them together, hold the tips, give them a bit yeah, of a yeah. bend so people yeah. can really see where they bend, where they don't yeah. bend, and how the tips perform. So we've got the two piece gorilla uh, 14 foot, bit of a beast of a rod, K guides, and then we've got the three piece gorilla which is an entry level sort of Conti rod with a, fine, a finer tip on it. Um, so a, right. a good rod for someone that wants to dip their toe in the water of, of, of continental fishing. And, the, really. and these are how much would you say again? Well, the, so you've got the, the Tronics Pro Gorilla uh, Sabotage, 4.2 metres, 60 quid. 60 quid. Uh, and then you've got the two piece, bit of a beast of a rod. Wait for that to go past. Is 85 quid. So that's the two piece Gorilla one. 85 pound. That was more suited for yeah. people that want to fish for bigger fish, yeah, yeah. Uh, heavier work. This one, entry yeah. level Conti rod. So just a, a, a good entry level rod right. for someone that wants to dip their toe in the water. So you see, if see you, the action on yeah, if you just hold the tip for me, Chris. If you do the 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 lighter one first, I'm just going to give it a bend so people can see the action. So as oh, you can wow, see, so it's, it's a through action tip. Yeah. It's not overly tip action, uh, right. but it's got a bit of power. Obviously, it's going to bend through the midsection, but for a 60 quid rod, that's all you're going to expect. Yeah. But that will chuck a lead. That will yeah. show good bite indication. And again, you know, yeah. a really good entry level rod for someone yeah. that wants to go for the slightly longer rods, um, but you know, wants to spend yeah, yeah, yeah. slightly less money. All right, so if we put that one back. Yeah. So we've seen that one. If you stay there, Chris, because right. the next one we're going to show is the 85 pounds two-piece gorilla, um, which is rated to 200 grams, but it's as you can see, it's a, it's a heavier tip. Oh, that is a, so that it's, is yeah, a it's a bit of a beast. beast of a rod, Much it? more strength in the yeah, tip. Yeah. Uh, great for use with bigger baits in rougher conditions. So for yeah. someone that wants to go big fish fishing in in, in adverse conditions, yeah. that's a great rod. So you um, know, and particularly if you were going sort of Bristol Channel or yeah. up the north coast, north Dungeness West, even, yeah. Dungeness, yeah. you know, chucking sixes and seven ounce yeah, reds, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that'd be a great two-piece rod. And on, and on, on a winter's night here when it's blowing a hoolie. When it's blowing a hoolie, yeah, yeah, you don't need to, you you know, don't need to use your ultra fine yeah. rod. So yeah. you just need something that can chuck out a heavy lead and a big bait. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, yeah. I, I, I mean, I have got a few, a couple of rods that are, that are similar action to that, and, yeah. and there are nights that you want to use them. But I, I, I think as an, an all-rounder, that's the rod, isn't it? Yeah, for for, for an yeah. entry level, someone yeah, yeah. that wants to yeah. dip their toe in for sixty yeah. quid, 60 you know, quid. it's amazing, really, what they can do for the money. You couldn't you couldn't buy the bits for that. No. Right. The next two we're going to look at, uh, Chris, is the two Yuki's. So the DSC A5, which was the tubular tip rod, right? Uh, retailing at one hundred and one hundred and twenty-five. Quid, 126 quid, very reasonably priced, lovely, yeah. beautifully finished. Yeah. Um, again, so very light, powerful, tubular tips. It hasn't got the ultra fine tip. No, no. Um, so again, for someone that just wants a conventional rod, yeah. three piece, um, the next step up, if you like, from, from the entry level that we looked at earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you want to hold the tip, for you'll see a slightly different action. So it hasn't got the, oh, it's still got a It's very a fine, fine tip, tip still. Yeah, yeah, it's still fine oh, tip. Look at that. It's Not too bad, tip, it? but again, it's, yeah. it's more, the, the, the two thirds of the tip bends yeah. as opposed to right the tip action, but still nice. Yeah. But loads of power in the midsection and yeah. the butt section. So oh, that's why I used to love my Yuki rods. They're, yeah, they're yeah. fantastic rods. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, that's the uh, the DSC A5 from Yuki. Right. Now the next one we talked about was I know we did the two piece 
We're not going to do all the, whole, all the rods in the, in the ranges, but the two-piece casting from Seiko, retailing for about 260, 200, I think 260 quid, something like that. Yeah, 260. Um, now this is the two-piece, really powerful bit of kit, rated up to 300 grams. Um, it's got, but what I like about it, it's got a soft tip action, so it's yeah. a fishing rod. It's still a fishing yeah, rod. Yeah, yeah. It's got a show bites, but again, you know, someone that wants to go to the Bristol Channel wants to go ray fishing at Shoreham, yeah. undulates, congas. Yeah, yeah. This would be a, a or, or fishing he, big fish here or or heavy yeah, work. Yeah. But it's still going to show bites. It's not yeah. just going to be no, no, too no, rigid. No. So have a look at this. It's got a movable reel seat as well, but this is this is very very nice. So it's got a softish tip. Look at that tip. That is. That is that tip that, action is superb. Is yeah, yeah, there, isn't it? yeah. But the masses of power, huge yeah. power, barely bending on the rest of the rod. Yeah. So uh, that's 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 yeah. a composite tip, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. you can feel that. So that's yeah. a soft tip action. So it's going to show yeah. bites, but huge power, not wow. barely bending on the rest of the rod. Um, so that will chuck um, big baits, big leads. Yeah. Fish into uh, you know fast, fast deep um, water. Um, and rough, rough seas, yeah. wind, uh, windy, weedy conditions. But at the end of the day, it's gonna. It's this one. You'll see bites on it when you're just conventional fishing as well. And you could you could really wind the cast up with that. Oh, you? definitely. You could be yeah, good yeah. Off the this, is a, and, this is a uh, 14 pendulum. foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 14 foot, two piece, yeah. movable reel seat. So you can have the yeah. you can put you can the fixed ball down. Yeah. or the reel wherever you want. Um, some people like it in the down position. Some yeah. people like it in the up position. Yeah. yeah, so um, so that's a yeah, that's, that's a exactly new right. one out from UK, just, which is quite, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you way. what, you fold that and I'll hold the tip for you because it's really quite it's quite interesting. It looks it looks a thicker tip, but it's actually a lot softer in a tip oh, than you think. It's that. lovely. Look at that. So nice. Loads oh. of power. Huge power. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not in the market for a new rod. I'm not in the market for no. a new rod. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. yeah, that's really tempting. That's a trouble. It's quite tempting, isn't it? Well, the thing is, as well, I, I, I tend to look at rods now, and yeah. they've got they've got a ticker box yeah. for the shot. They've got a ticker box for how you fish, and because fishing is changing, yeah. you tend to be thinking, "Wow, I wouldn't normally run that rod, but now I would because of the conditions we're fishing and the fish we find ourselves fishing for." But you, with that tip, you'd still be able to pick up the place bites and you the would. biting bites. And that's, that's the beauty of that. Actually, yeah. you would. It's, it's deceptive. It looks quite thick yeah, yeah. and heavy, but actually it's such a soft tip yeah. that you would absolutely be able to see bites from Whiting's place. I mean, like, all the, sorts, temptation, really. the temptation, as I say, if you were going to buy a rod, one rod, that's all you're going to buy, yeah. you'd probably get that and that would do everything you wanted with it. Well, it would do everything. Yeah. It would. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, fishing here, yeah. uh, I, I prefer the, the lighter, more powerful yeah, three-piece yeah. Conti rods. But yeah. you're right. For, if you really wanted a rod that that was able to do a bit of everything, yeah. you know, and still handle the big fish if you knew all yeah. fast moving waters, yeah. etc. then absolutely, yeah. yeah, you're quite right. It would be. But you, it is 250 quid. So it, oh yeah, it's a big jump in price. Yeah. Okay. It's lovely rod though. It is. Very sexy. <laughs> right, so we'll look at the pens next. So. Okay, so we're now talking about pen rods. We are, yeah. So um, these were the ones that we were quite excited about when they came in, actually. So pen have bought out a new range called the Tidal XR. Right. Um, they're 4.5 meters. Uh, they do a, me a light, a medium, and a heavy in the range. We just do the, the medium uh, and the heavy. Which what's is the, what's 4.5 in, in 4.5 15 foot. 15 foot, effectively, right, okay. yeah. It's just yeah, under yeah. foot. It's about 14 foot 10, yeah. but 15 foot of it, effectively. Yeah. So the blue one is the slightly lighter one. It's right. still rated, <laughs> so it's slightly lighter. It's 100 to 250 grams. Wow. The right. red one is rated to uh, 100 to 300 grams. Wow. So they're going to have a similar action. Yeah. You, it might, you won't pick it up on the camera, but you'll see it with your eye. Ever so slightly thicker in the blank in the butt yeah. section here, the red one. Right. Yeah. Um, and it, so it will be a very slightly stiffer rod. Obviously, it's rated to 300 grams, but not a great deal of difference in the two rods apart from if you want something that's going to handle yeah. something slightly heavier yeah. than the red ones. One, same price. The beauty of it is normally these things, when they step up in size, they step up in price. They haven't. These, both of these rods come in at exactly the same exactly price, the same which price. is 200 quid, 199.99, which we think is really, really good value yeah. uh, for pen. Fuji K guides, you know, so these are all Fuji fittings on, uh, yeah. on the eyes, yeah. which is very good. 
Uh, good value for money, really. So if you want to hold the tip, Chris, we'll do the lighter one the lighter first. One first yeah. We'll see if there's any discernible that, difference. Is that a composite as well? That's an inserted yeah, tip. Yeah, yeah. So it's a hybrid tip. So again, this has got a really, these are Look lovely rods for, yeah. for, for chucking five ounce lead, maybe up yeah. to six ounce lead with bait, long distance casting. Beauty. Yeah, Beautiful. fishing for place or anything at range, really. Yeah. Um, lovely bit of kit, so very, very light, but cracking tip action to it. Yeah. You know, just a nice casting rod. Yeah. Uh, it's what you pay for. You know, once you step up, you'll find that these rods are lighter and more powerful. Yeah. Uh, and that's what you get, really. Uh, yeah. Better, Slightly better actions. You just feel the weight. Yeah, yeah, you feel that. I'll hold the tip for you, so. Oh, it's a nice light rod. Yeah, it? it is, but you feel the tip action on that. It's lovely. So it really is, you know. Oh, beauty. Yeah. Cracking, but, Beautiful. you know. Slightly, slightly um, bending in, in the midsection. Yeah, so you've got a bit um, of power. A bit of you've got there. a bit of power there. Yeah. And then we'll, um, well, if you hold that one, Chris, I'll yeah. hold the, the tip of this one. So this one is very similar in action, but it is just a slightly rated, so again, so yeah. you can see it's slightly more powerful rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and certainly more powerful in the butt section, but cracking tip, tip, tip actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the... Solid in the, yeah, in the button, yeah, yeah. And the third rod there is the one that we talked about again. So it, we'll show that one because it does something different again. And this is, this is I, I, I find very exciting, is yeah. that it's a Conti rod yeah. for multipliers. Yeah, well, for multipliers and fixed balls. Actually, yeah. It's actually a dual rod, yeah. which, you, which you don't get many of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they've managed to do it, pen again. Yeah. Now, because we know that pen um, obviously do the Mag4 multipliers, which we sell, yeah. as you well know. So yeah. um, uh, they've bought out a, pe a, a set of uh, pen uh, Mag4 rods yeah. to complement them. Three piece, continental right. rods, yeah. but powerful. Six and bait, seven and bait, and eight and bait. We've got the six and bait here, right. um, which is a bit more useful for, for this sort of area, general fishing. Yeah, um, I mean, the eight I, and yeah. bait would be great for, again, real, it's a real Bristol, bit of a beast. Bristol yeah, Bristol. yeah, or, or yeah. you know, like we talked about, yeah. um, you know, big fish. And they are, they do step up in price yeah. uh, as you go up through the range. Yeah. But this one, 285, it's got three piece, it's got a movable reel seat, so, so for you, those you can put your, you can you yeah. can locate your multiply down the butt if you wish. Some yeah. people do, I know you do. Yeah. Um, or in the conventional position if you wish. Um, it's a it's a lockable reel seat, so when yeah. you put the reel in, you lock and it in position. It, on, yeah. it, it holds its position on the blank. Yeah. Um, three piece rod, um, conventional rod tip. Um, so what that means is it's a conventional glass tip. So if yeah. you hold the rod, uh, Chris, I'll hold the rod tip. Oh. Um, it's a light rod. It's light, but it's powerful. But it's uh, this is the soft. This is just remember. This is the lighter of the three. Yeah. So this yeah. is the softest, lightest version of three. The They've got ounces, two yeah. heavier versions of this. Uh, but ascent, a conventional uh, soft rod tip. So a, a nice fishing rod, actually. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. You know, but again, interestingly enough. It feels, it feels like... <laughs> yeah. You'd be able to swing a lead with that, wouldn't you? <laughs> So yeah, so so that's the last one we're going to show, yeah. um, which is, again in in the pen range. So lovely bit of kit. Um, I don't need a new rod. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all say that. <laughs> I said that before I bought all these. Yeah. But um, yeah, so uh, it's quite an interesting one though, isn't it? Yeah. And it's wor worth seeing because you yeah. know there will be guys out there who who do use multipliers. Who, who like the idea of, of using a continental style rod. Yeah, yeah. And why not? Why wouldn't you? That extra length's going to give you a better distance. A little distance. bit longer on a, yeah, on a yeah. you know, slow your swing down, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. And now, you know, Penn have bought out a range of rods that you can do that with. Yeah. You know, quite comfortably. You can you can swing swing the lead with those. Uh, they're powerful enough to do it. I'd be interested um, to have a swing on that, actually. Yeah, yeah they, they're quite a good back. bit of kit. Well, one yeah. day you'll have to come over, Chris. Yeah, yeah. You? Take one over if you want. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You like the idea of that one? Bring your yeah. reel over. Yeah. Bring your Mag4 reel over and uh, stick it on the Mag4 yeah. rod. Yeah. 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 No problem. Yeah, I'd be interested to see how that was. I bring bring more one of the rods that I norm usually nor use for my things and just compare do a compare comparison and feel what it feel like. Yeah. yeah In alone. fact, <laughs> I've got a feeling that Ollie, my yeah. uh, lad who's in the shop today, I've got a feeling he's got. A pen mag four that that we've got. It's the shops actually. Right. As I just remembered, there's a sample oh, that the right. rep gave me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you ever want to come over and have a yeah. go with it, we, we've got one that you can have a go with. Yeah, yeah definitely. I thought it would be good. I'd well, like him. to do. We, 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 do this, we, we might leave this in. We might not. Okay. Get Brian Pask down. Yeah, yeah. 
do a little teach yeah. on with him to speak to camera with you know three or four different types. I mean, I know you can teach painters yeah, yeah. as well. Do a little lesson, maybe yeah. get Max down or someone yeah, as a yeah. student and have a little crack maybe, at that. Yeah, whatever. A project for the future. You never know. Yeah. All right, Chris. So that's Mate. our our range of new rods. Yeah. Exciting, isn't it? So quite a lot of new yeah. stuff that's come yeah, in, yeah. which is good. I mean, there are there are other uh, manufacturers that have got new things on the market. Absolutely, but I think that's yeah. a pretty broad spectrum of what's yeah. out there. Yeah, and most of those aren't, as I say, they are within hopefully most people's yeah. budgets as well, which is good. Yeah. You know, it's really good. So it's not all about no, no, high no. price, high no, price, no. high price. Quite the reverse, yeah. you know. Well, I mean, there's those rods for less, just under sixty quid. I know. I don't know how they do it for the money. I really yeah. don't. <laughs> I mean, and you can go and buy a fifty-pound starter kit, but to be honest you probably use it for a couple of weeks and then you want to go and buy a new kit because yeah. you've discovered the yeah. limitations. I think those 60 quid rods combined with a reasonably priced reel. Yeah. I don't know what, what, what you're talking 40 about. 40 quid. 40, 40 so, quid for a reel. So, so 100 quid. Yeah, 100 quid, yeah, definitely. You, yeah, I mean, we do we do like, yeah, so a, a nice sort of a, a workable reel that, yeah. that would certainly fit with a 60 quid yeah. rod. You don't want to put a 150 quid reel particularly no, no, no. on a, on a no. 60 quid rod. But we get some really nice ones, sort of like 40 quid, 45 yeah. pounds, would absolutely fit a treat with, with, with a 60 quid. So you've got a, a very, very nice yeah. setup for 100 quid or and, 105 pounds. you get a few seasons out of that. Oh, and yeah. By then, you now know what it is you don't yeah. know, you know, and you now know where you're going to yeah. go next. The difference is, is back in the day, you dipped your toe in the water to see yeah. whether you liked it, and, and the kit that you had to buy to do that, if yeah. you didn't want to spend a lot of money, just to dip your toe in the water, what, like you say, was, was pretty cheap. It yeah. was pretty, it didn't really do a yeah. lot, but it, it, it got you out there fishing. Yeah. Now, you can spend the same kind yeah, yeah. of money on that, yeah. but you can actually have rods that yeah. are quite a joy to use, yeah. you know, and, and they will show bite indication, yeah. and because, thank goodness, that's what technology's given yeah. us. It's given us lighter, slimmer, stronger, yeah, yeah. Across the range, yeah. which is brilliant, even and in the low price and ones. The distance isn't everything. You can no, catch fish no. plopping it out 30 metres well. into the water, but if you can bang it out 100 metres, you've got that much more spectrum to, to fish into. So Definitely. if you're not in close, you can get the ones that are further. Yeah, yeah. If all uh, you can do is plop it 20 or 30 metres, yeah. that's, you're not going to catch anything. No, and we now know because of the the species that we've talked about in the past, you know, we get a lot of place now. Well, yeah, yeah. rewind six, seven years, we didn't get the place that we get now, nowhere near it. And place are a clean water, daylight fishing, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and they do tend to come a little bit further out. So yeah, when yeah. we tend to fish for place, not exclusively, yeah, yeah. but when we do tend to fish for place, we do tend to like to clip it and whack it, yeah, yeah. Um, because they do tend to, you know, the yeah. better place come a bit further out. So yeah. there, is, there is a reason to, to get rods that can cast yeah. a bit further. But like you say, quite right, most of the bass come yeah. under your feet. You know, we've had a lot of bass this year, yeah. good bass, and then they're, they're never out there. Generally, they're there. Yeah. So, I'm you know, sure yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, Glenn, thank you All very right, much, mate. Well, that was a nice one. Very educational. I hope everyone's enjoying that. Um, we will do one on reels. Uh, so we'll talk about what reels are on the market. And, and maybe we'll do that now. I don't know. I'll talk to Glenn in a minute. Um, and then, you know, if you like the video, subscribe, press the like button, ring the bell, and all that, all that good stuff. Thanks very much. Cheers, Chris. Thanks, all right. Okay, mate. Good, good.